Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a night at Dead by Daylight. I'm your humble host, Stick MC, and tonight, uh, tonight we are playing game 77 of Pig. No perks, no add-ons out of 100 games. We're coming up on the final stretch, last 25 games. We're going to see what we can do. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider giving a like and subscribe. And uh, that gives me a chance to kind of talk about kind of what I'm after here. Uh, so I am actually, well, I consider myself a survivor main. Uh, and I am contributing what I think is the most conclusive data that I am able to at my level with my capability uh, to prove that this game is inherently killer-sided. And the way I'm doing that is it is my goal to play 100 games of every single one of these guys without perks. Without add-ons, I can't even bring them out. All I can do is bring blood points. That is it. And a win is 3k or more. A tie is 2k. And a loss is 1k or fewer. And I'm just tracking everything. And by everything, I mean everything. I track how long it takes the gens to get done if they get done. I this With this killer, I'm even tracking how many of the games where all five gens are done do I lose. Uh, answer, I only lose about 40% of those games, which should kind of give you a hint as to what I'm up to at the moment. I played 100 games as Trapper, I won 57. I played 100 games as Wraith, I won 56. I won 60 as Billy, before the buff, I won 55 as Doctor, and most recently, before Pig, I won 50 as Bubba. These are the two you want to point at if you feel like there's dispute in this world. Uh, I still had more wins than losses with Hack. I went 42, 41, and 17, but I didn't get to 51 wins, so some people's like, mission fail there. I don't know. I won more than I lost. What more do you want? Uh, now, Shape here, you, you, got some, you got some real fight here because I actually had more losses than wins. However, I still had more 2Ks or better than 1Ks or worse. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, uh, one out of eight killers was very clearly a losing endeavor. Uh, so if, if, if you know, one-eighth is what I'm looking at, then I'm going to have a pretty good time. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to ready up. I'm going to do my best. And so on one hand, I'm trying to, like, show, like, hey, this is a thing. The other thing I'm trying to show is why. So some people argue, well, your MMR must be low. MMR is based on kill rate. And when you are based on kill rate, uh, let's see here, I might actually be able to do that, man, it's so quick. When you're based on kill rate, uh, you, uh, you just look at what your kill rate is. And after 96, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and then I think I killed three more, four. My kill rate right now, right this second, is 59%. My win rate right now, with all the killers I played after some uh, 776 games, is 51%. And that, that, that's all I can do. I can't do anything else to show you, like, you know, uh, what my MMR is. I wish I could, but I can't. What I can do, though is I can control the manner in which I play. There's a streamer there, so, and a flashlight. So this might be a real tough fight. And, you know, it might be. Uh, we'll see. Um, I can control how I play. And that, that typically means something. Um, as long as a killer can camp, tunnel, and 3-gen, and maybe they don't do it all the time, but as long as they can flip that switch, as long as they can play with strategy, you don't even need perks or add-ons. And I think that's evidence of why it's a problem. If I can win just by camping, tunneling, and 3-genning, and being tactical about what I'm doing, and I don't need perks and add-ons, what's going to happen if I bring a full meta build and a map that I feel confident on? Like, how is that even fair? Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Oh, man, I've been playing on this map several times. Uh, this map... I would consider as a disadvantage for killer, but I don't get to pick the maps. I don't get to pick the killer. I don't get to pick anything. So I'm going to head right on over this way. That main building over there. That's main building, which is really unfortunate.
That's helpful. She's gonna go to main, I think. Yeah, there's main. I kind of cut her off from that. Now she's gonna come over here. She's trying to get the shack before I can. Looking for that opportunity. Got her. Now, if that's where the hatch is, uh, the basement is, I'm having a better day. I don't know where Ace is, so I gotta do that. Oh, that was good. That was important. And I got something for ya. Last time I got someone down here, I had a pretty good day. This is critical. I lost a gen out of it, but I got, I got, I got it down in the basement. I don't have any gens to guard though. Like, I basically have to throw the whole game. See, I, I have nothing to do over there. Got balance. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. Wow, that dead hard was impressive. down him right now right exactly now right now I will right now now I'm all about it oh did he make it no no he did not Yeah, I don't know that I get her or him. Yep. Oh, hi. Where, where do you go, guy? Wow, they did a good job. There's the heal. That sucks. I lost all control of the map. All control of the map. And she gets the helmet off right away. See how, like... Oh, nice spin. Into nothing, though. Oh, wow. Really messed that up. That fixed it. Got it. Oh man, I think it was the second Meg. Yeah, this is kind of ugly. I lost control of the map. I really need that second Meg. And look how far away I am from my, my objectives. That's actually okay. Look at that pre-running. Oh, and the... Ah! 
she throws a pallet. He's right there, so I'm good. He can't get around here. That's not gonna work either. I hate how far away that thing, there it is. That sucks. Well, let's see what I can get out of this. You better get out. You better get out, Ace. She already got that. Ooh, that might. Is that live? That's live. I gotta get him out. I really genuinely can't believe. Oh, I thought he really waited that out. She got that off real quick. Aren't she sometimes it plays into it in this map? Like, this map is tough. I gotta find the hatch. See, I never see it. There you go. I still get one. That worked for me. Would have been more if the other one hadn't just come off. That's all RNG. So one, two, three, four, four hooks, no kills. Real unfortunate, but they played it well. They played it well. They used the map well. I didn't really have a good three gen to work with. So you know, you 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 have games like this, and people point at games like this. They're like, see, Survivor sighted. They all got out. Uh, tough map. Good teamwork. Uh, RNG wasn't on my side. Yeah, those were all truths. But, but this is, this is like 30% of my games, not the other 70. Uh, and that's, that's my point. So, really well played to them. Good play, good game, good, good teamwork. Uh, I tried desperately to, to, you know, get something more productive. It just didn't work out for me. Uh, real good teamwork, but hey, you know, it's gonna happen sometime. So, uh, one more time, what was that? That was one, two, three, four, five, I believe. I believe that was five. Uh, five hooks, which isn't terrible. Five hooks, one kill, uh, uh, no gens left, three survivors escaped. That was uh, Red Forest, excuse me. So that was... Uh, the 45th time all the gens were done and only the 11th 1k out of that and only the 20th time out of 45 games I actually lost so yes you have bad games yes they happen I still only need to win 7 out of 23 games and you know maybe I maybe I don't win a game tonight with the pig it could happen but we'll see how it goes we, we shall see uh, good game to them. Let's process this game and move on to the next.